Hey guys, what's up? Just the Emperor Pro here. All right, um, it is two twenty-four in the morning. Hooray! <laughs> so yeah, this is actually recorded on Sunday now. That is two twenty-five. So um, hello. There will be three episodes today. I hope y'all enjoy them. And so this is the uh, animations tab. Okay, so let's get on with it. Glowing light. Uh, what? Oh, glowing light. <laughs> I was like, wait, I never seen the animation. Anyways, so let's get on. So these are all of your animations. These are these are currently the ones that are in use by all the skills that are set by default. And I went over the skills tab in what was it episode four? I think I want to I want to say four. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so let's get on with it. So we're gonna go ahead and create our own little animation by increasing the maximum by one, and we're gonna go down to the blank one, and we're gonna name it Bunchy. No, we'll just, let's name it something creative. How about? Chabang. <laughs> Chabang bang. No, not gonna go there. Alright, so let's find these are all the animations by default. You can always import them through the resource manager, which I explained in episode one. I believe. I think I went over the resource manager. I'm pretty sure I went over the resource manager. So anyways, we're gonna create something kinda cool. So let's go ahead and go ahead and go to the darkness one. We're gonna kinda change the palette. Okay. Just something more yellow. We're gonna do this, and over here on the second one, uh, these are the graphics. You can choose up to two of them. Sorry, I didn't mention that. I'm going to choose that one, and let's make it kind of a, an electricity style thing. I'm gonna give this a blue tint. So we're gonna have this, and make sure you can see the X and Y right here. You can drag it around. Uh, click one of these things on here and then click up here to place it. You can click on one of these that are already on it, press delete on the keyboard, or right click. Now let's go over the everything here. If you right click on whatever animation is on the thing, what like whatever one you want on there, you can just right click it and you have all you have this list. You have a scroll up, which I honestly don't know what scrolling does. I never I never use scrolling. So let's uh, go to properties. Right click and go to properties. Now here you can uh, change the pattern. The pattern you can tell what pattern it is by looking at this. One, two, three, four, five. It starts with zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So we're currently at pattern. No, we don't. Never mind. It starts at one. I'm sorry. So we're currently at pattern number five, which is this one right here. And you can you can even rotate it if you want using the angle. I'm not gonna rotate it though. You can flip it. That's supposed to be a yes or no. <laughs> I don't know why it's missing. Uh, that's kind of strange. I just bit my lip and it hurts like really bad. So this is the X and Y position. You can, if you normally dragging it around in the editor, it, um, let me show what I mean. Dragging around in the editor, it drags by eight. Uh, you, so you can only have like multiples of eight. But if you go in here, you can set you can set X and Y manually. This is the opacity, which means like how transparent it is, and this is the zoom. You can actually increase the size and all kinds of cool stuff with that. I'm going to go back to 100. And we're going to start making a little animation here. Now that I went over the properties. Oh, this is the blending. You can do you can do uh, normal, add, or subtract. Um, I'm going to go with normal. So it's not adding or anything. Um, blending, I will go over that, I guess. Might as well do it now. Um, add will basically brighten whatever the surface it's on so if you have like a fire animation and you want it to somewhat be see-through and brighten whatever it's behind it'll kinda do that. Subtract is basically the same except it darkens. Alright, let's get on with it. So I'm gonna place two animations, uh, these two on zero zero. Now we're gonna position, we're gonna do uh, center. And the max number, this is how many frames are in the animation. I'm gonna do about 20. I always start with 20. If I need more, I go more. If I need less, I wait until my animation is done, and then I change it however many, ah, many my animation is. So let's go. So one, click next. Well, first thing you want to do is click, go here, right click, click copy, and then go to two, and then paste. I, I just press Control C and then Control V. That's what I usually do. Press delete to clear it. You can also insert a frame by pressing insert. So actually, that's really good. I didn't know you can do that. You can also delete by pressing control delete. I did not know you can do that. That's really good to know. So on frame two, drag one of these over and increase the pattern by one. And then increase this pattern by one. 
and then redo them. As you can see, it's starting to show. So control C, control V, increase the pattern by one, drag it over so you can increase this one, and then reset its position. So we got our, so that was a pretty nice animation. I'm gonna go ahead and build this really quick. And um, if you want, you can skip ahead. All right. Um, hmm. How many more are there for that one? Okay. So I don't think this one actually has any more animation. So no, it doesn't. So I'm just gonna delete that one and just going to increase this one now. Oops. <laughs> okay, that's all. So there's only seven. All right, so I'm going to do seven. I'm going to type seven. Now let's play it real quick. And there you go. So we have our own little animation going on. Now we want to add sound effects. That's what this is over here for. Uh, sound effects and flashing. So right here you can either do uh, flashing for the target flashing for the screen or you can actually hide the target target flashing means whatever whoever's targeted with this animation like if you have a skill that does this and it targets an enemy or a player that's what um the flashing would be this is the strength of the flashing like say if i have it completely white he will be he'll flash white like all the way um if you want to have it like halfway he won't completely be immersed like in why he'll just be brightened or he'll be kind of like added to whatever color you have so we're gonna make him flash white actually it's kind of make him flash like a bluish like that more like right there I guess let's have him flash purple why not let's have uh, a sound effect you can do that by clicking SC up here and clicking little three dots hmm let's see is it shock Oh. oh, thunder. Hmm. Hmm. I like that one. So let's go with Thunder 12 and a target flash on frame number one. These are the frames. You can choose whatever. These are the frames over here, so you can see which one you want it on. If you're not sure, just go here and press down on the keyboard or up, and you can see whatever frame. You can see them how they work. And uh, you can find out whatever frame it is you want it to work on. Now let's play the animation. So if you right-click when you're here, you can do edit, which uh, edit would be for a blank one. You'd be able to make a new one. You can also, if you're on one that you've already made, you can cut, copy, paste, and delete. I usually just double click and it just comes up. So let's play it. Oh, heck yeah, that works. All right, so there's that's the animation tutorial. That's the basic of animations. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and enjoyed. I like my little animation. <laughs> and I'll see you guys for the next episode.